Hello, everyone. Thank you for being here today. Um, over the last several decades, uh, so, uh, sophisticated control algorithms have been developed to um, reduce the fuel consumption of internal combustion engine. <coughs> um, based, uh, and these algorithms have been developed based on the first law of thermodynamic. The first law of thermodynamic states that um, energy cannot be created nor destroyed. However, the second law of thermodynamics states that um, not, all of the, not all of the energy um, from a particular source is available to do work. So, and that's because of the irreversibilities and the um, entropy generation. Um, entropy defined as, uh, or considered as a useless term of, uh, a useless form of energy that cannot be used to produce work. Um, and it's very highly dependent on temperature. So, as we know that internal combustion engines um, convert the fuel energy into mechanical work and by combusting the fuel um, and produce a huge amount of heat and temperature. So the entropy generation in internal combustion engines is very high and which is around 20, 26% of the fuel energy is just um, turned into uh, entropy, which is a useless um, um, energy. I cannot produce work. So that was the motivation for our research. We are combining the second law of thermodynamic parameters uh, with an optimal control theory um, to reduce or to minimize the entropy generation. Um, at the same time, improve the uh, thermal efficiency and reduce the fuel consumption. The work, um, the work is divided in two stages. The first stage is a theoretical analysis uh, by developing an algorithm that take, uh, handle the, um, the optimization problem. Um, and then the second part is an experimental. Uh, the experimental part is um, we gonna we are going to implement the algorithm from the, from the first part on hardware and run an engine on it. Um, the first part is done, and we were able to like we obtained uh, an impressive results. Like uh, we were able to minimize the fuel consumption by 14%. Um, and reduce the entropy generation by 10%, as well as the um, second law of thermodynamic efficiency improvement. Um, that's it for today. Thank you so much.